Today, we are going to look at a body viz brain builder about the cranium, and specifically look at the bones and sutures that comprise the cranium, as well as learn about craniosynostosis. The cranium is a subdivision of the skull and composed of eight bones that protect the brain. These bones can be a bit tricky to classify in the type of bone that they are because they have qualities of both flat and irregular bones. The bones of the cranium are connected by sutures, which are immovable joints. The bones of the cranium are the frontal bone, paired parietal bones, paired temporal bones, the occipital bone, the sphenoid bone, and the ethmoid bone. Let's take a closer look at each of these bones and the sutures that connect them. The frontal bone stretches from your eyebrows to a bit past your hairline, making up the top part of your eye cavity and the front of your head. The frontonasal suture joins the frontal bone with the superior aspects of the nasal bones. The coronal suture joins the frontal bone posteriorly with two parietal bones. The parietal bones are a left and right pair, forming the side and top of the head. The sagittal suture joins the left and right parietal bones at the midline of the body. Laterally, the parietal bones are joined to the temporal bones by the squamous suture. The temporal bones are also a left and right pair that form the sides and the base of the skull and are surround the ear canal. The parietal bones are joined posteriorly to the occipital bone by the lambdoid suture. The occipital bone forms the back and base of the skull. The sphenoid bone sits behind the eye and below the front of the brain, forming part of the cranial floor and sitting in the center of the skull. The ethmoid bone sits at the root of the nose between the eyes, is square in shape, and has many perforations through which nerves pass to the nose. Sutures are fibrous bands of tissue that allow for no movement and connect the bones of the cranium. However, they are not always like this. For about the first 12 to 18 months, the cranial bones are separate and the sutures are flexible. During the birth process, flexible sutures allow the flat bones of the skull to move and overlap one another, making the baby's head smaller and the birth process easier, without pressing on or damaging the infant's brain. Infants have two soft spots on the cranium called fontanelles. The anterior fontanelle is at the top of the middle of the head and closes between 9 to 18 months. The posterior fontanelle is at the back of the middle of the head and closes by one or two months and sometimes is already closed at birth. Craniosynostosis is a defect present at birth where the sutures of the cranium have fused together prematurely before the baby's brain is fully formed. The head can appear misshapen as brain growth continues and can involve one or more of the cranial sutures. Next, we will look at symptoms, causes, and treatments of craniosynostosis and finally give a patient example. Symptoms include a misshapen skull, abnormal feeling fontanelles, raised hard ridge following the influence sutures, and stagnant or slow growth of the baby's head. The causes of craniosynostosis are usually not known, but sometimes can be related to genetic disorders. Treatments to correct the head shape require surgery, which can be done through either endoscopic surgery, which is minimally invasive and uses a light tube and camera inserted through a small scalp incision to remove the suture, or open surgery to reshape the cranial bones in which they are held in place by absorbable plates and screws. Helmet therapy is often used with endoscopic surgery to help shape the baby's skull. Finally, let's take a look at a patient example. You have been called into the neonatal intensive care unit at your hospital to consult a newborn. The newborn's report says, age, 30 minutes, gender, female, primary concern, head deformity. You ask the OBGYN about the delivery and any possible complications. She reports there were none. You inspect the neck and shoulders and see no abnormalities or signs of stress. The baby appears to have an elongated back of the head that is oval instead of round in shape. You can see and feel a slight bulging ridge from the middle of the head running straight down the center of the back of the head. A CT scan confirms no brain damage in the fusion of the sagittal suture. You schedule an endoscopic surgery to separate the bones and allow for brain growth. This is a classic example of craniosynostosis.